Hello, my good name is Wizeli and this is my YouTube channel, Home of Fun and Good Vibes. Hope you are amazing, I'm amazing and you. Your lost girl is here. Hi, how is everything? Oops, we are in new month. Happy new month to all of you who are watching this. I hope May brings you all the good things you wish and yay. It is that month of mothers. So, yay! Cheers to all mothers out there. Feel good, feel appreciated. Yep. And be a good mother. Okay? So, guys, thank you so much for the returning subscribers and the new subscribers. I really, really appreciate your support. And I'm really humbled. But I know. Now I'm like failing you and you're not getting it. I know. But guys, I'm trying my best. I'm gonna get back to daily posting soon. I'm trying my best. Yeah. You know, you have to deal with one, two, three. So I was dealing with my one, two, three. And again, I don't want to like keep you on waiting for so long. But I'm always here. And as you can see, today I'm just seated. That means we are not going to test some stew. <laughs> but we are going to have a juicy, juicy, juicy conversation. As you always know, in this house, in this family, <laughs> everything is fun and good vibes. So guys, today I want to talk about something. Okay, it is a very critical thing and it is something that each and every person, like each and every person has faced in their life, either once, not even once, severally, but some find a way to do away with it, others stuck there and make it a habit, others just lost it and they can't get it. So that is what we are going to talk about today. And the video, like in my conversation, I'm going to split it into a what, why, how, and what, how, why, and now ways of helping the situation. So if you're going to watch this, I hope I don't trigger some of your, you know, I hope I don't trigger you in any way. And if by any chance I'm going to trigger you, at the end of the video, I'm going to give some ways or rather tips on how you can try and walk over it. You know, I know it is not a one day thing. You can't walk over it one day thing. But... Slowly by slowly, step by step, day by day, if you are determined, you can do it. So guess what are we talking about? Yes, I've given you some clue. You have two minutes to guess. Okay, so we are talking about bitterness. So yes, so let's start. What causes bitterness? Like, bitterness is caused mostly by disappointment, betrayals, being treated in an unfair way, and, like, your expectations being, being left unmet. You are going to, these things are going to cause you bitterness. When you are, how do you know, okay, now I'm bitter and all this shit and everything and everything. Mostly is negative thoughts, feeling you're not enough, and projecting it to others. Like, you're just busy hurting others, either emotionally or physically. You're just projecting your pain. And it is so sad to have a bitter parent. And most of us grew up with 
bitterness and we are still facing bitterness until today just from how we were parented some have not even forgiven the parents so the first way like the number one thing to get over bitterness is first forgive forgive everyone who has ever wronged you speak it out even if you can't face them and tell them hey you you did this and i don't like it write it down somewhere or just speak it out to let it out like let it out of your heart that is one way of releasing yourself from bitterness or rather protecting yourself from bitterness and now there is this like how do i call it group of people let me just say that where bitterness has taken much 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 better part of them and it is not their wish by the way it is just that they don't understand it they don't get it like and well, most of them are single mothers okay parenting is not easy and none of the mothers one day just decided you know what i'm going to be a single mother some of them are raising those children and they are still in denial that they are single parents so with single parents they are single parents they are going through much bitterness and it is because some of them are like they are not in a place to digest everything that happened and accept okay it happened this is the situation and i have to move so after you've forgiven what happened the second step to get over bitterness is to accept accept the situation and find a way of now moving you see if you don't accept that means you're stuck the more you're stuck there there you are welcoming bitter you are welcoming negative thoughts now you start thinking overthinking like you are doing a lot to yourself bitterness causes a lot of damage to one's self yes you are bitter with your mother your father your boyfriend your baby daddy your auntie your uncle but imagine they are not getting that damage you are the one getting the damage like the damage is on you not on them so that is the one problem or one thing you are not supposed to be bitter is the thing you are bitter about or the person you are bitter about imagine their life is continuing they don't even think about you so why are you holding it can you just let it go accept it happened and let it go don't stay in one place thinking that things will one day change it might change it might not change but don't wait for the change can you move so that when the change comes here at least you are past some things kindly single mothers i love you so much and i love the fact that you are raising kings and queens but can we guys stop being bitter can we just find a way to get over what happened and don't be bitter with the baby daddies or both fathers or something i pray that all of us who raise the children alone find a way of getting over what happened and find their happiness back and enjoy raising those kids okay so now you've decided to forgive you've decided to accept what happened now maybe you lack someone to talk to how, how do you get it out of your heart or how how do you get that memory out of your brain okay you can seek a therapy 
if need be if it is not too much that needs another person you can just do it by yourself and okay let me tell you what i do this is personal though <laughs> but let me just share it with you it might help someone because i know not all of us are comfortable sharing their issues or sometimes you just lack that trusted person to share the issues with so you can just have a book okay <laughs> what you can just have a book and una, unaona let me just say it unaona that time where you are feeling those emotions and you are bitter you don't understand what is happening and such and such just take a pen and in that book write everything that is going in your mind just write it down after writing it down you can choose to burn it you can choose to keep it what you will do with it is your your own wish but the best thing is write it down this is if you can't open up to someone you lack that person to open up to and you want to get it out do the writing then after writing you can choose to put it on fire or keep it or analyze the negative ones and remain with the positive ones it will all be up on you but that is one two you can just go on the mirror and then see everything that is in your mind at the moment then as you're saying that things if by any chance or at a point you feel like crying allow yourself to cry it's better it is healthy and it is important cry if you feel like crying cry okay don't hold on do those tears are also emotions so if you let it out you are releasing yourself normalize crying baby <laughs> normalize crying release yourself <laughs> okay so that is how you can help yourself because no one is going to come for you it is you to find ways to help yourselves so yep i think that is the end of the video okay okay i'm forgetting about something how to deal with a bitter person like you've known okay this person is bitter there is a time where they are going to be too emotional where you can't handle them when it gets to that point let them be avoid them and when they cool down try and understand them like understand the roots if you can talk to them listen to them know where the problem is coming from and the help you can give give it let's be our sister's keeper yep so to anyone who is holding anything in their hearts for others baby girl baby boy you are the one causing damage to yourself the other person doesn't know what you're holding for them they don't even care what you're holding for them and even if they know they are going to do nothing about it so do yourself a favor of letting it go release yourself and if it is me if it means starting afresh okay allow yourself to start afresh but don't stay with bitterness happy happy weekend happy good weekend ahead i know i'm going to post this video towards the weekend so happy weekend ahead i wish you a happy may 
this is the end of the video subscribe guys and please guys please guys normalize watching <laughs> normalize watching subscribe after subscribing turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video you are notified about it come let us learn let us have fun and yep so this is the end of it bye bye until next time see you i love you and i appreciate you so much Tiris.